if you guys didn't know already, my website just received a brand new update, giving it a new fresh coat of paint and some brand new features like voting for my next video and voting for my next Let's Play. Yes guys, Squids Gaming here, Match to brand new guys, and today we're back with Troya Quest 2 B, Blastoise. Now, in last episode guys, as you know, we fought the Brain of Cthulhu, but it didn't go too well, and I thought, you know what, we'll save it for next episode, because today we're going to do some more of the house decorating, because we need to, because it's pretty small right now, and we're going to get some new NPCs very shortly, so, what do that, we need to actually, uh, first of all, kind of build more rooms, so I did cut down quite a few trees in between episodes, got ourselves 210 wood and a nice little mana star down there, thank you very much. And I also heard there's a meteorite landed, but the meteorite is currently not on our map, as if you can't see there, there's no meteorite at all whatsoever, which means we're going to have to actually go look, sort of, in this direction over here, and then there's none over this other side, which is very annoying, which means it's got to go all over here, and then past the crimson, over this direction here to get the meteorite. So yeah, we still haven't explored a lot of the world over here, which we want to do very soon. But for now, we want to go and just continue making more rooms to NPCs because the NPCs are very helpful in this game. They can give you a lot of items, and the more you get, if I think if you get a certain number of NPCs, you can actually get another one just having so many. Then you get the painter for having eight NPCs and the party girl for having like twelve, I think. But yeah, the more NPCs you have, the more items you get access to. So now we're going to continue to build houses. Right, we need a door. So do I have any doors anywhere? No, I might have to go build some. For now, there's going to be basic, um, just your average wooden houses because you haven't actually got anything special to put out of yet. I think wood's probably the easiest thing to build houses out of as well because uh, just when you just cut down a tree and got yourself some wood. Let's close that door there and put one there. That's probably not the most exciting episode ever, just building houses, but we need to we need to do it because it's very important to build NPC houses. And I don't think I'm having keeper yet. Do, wait, do we have any NPCs that are not in our house? No, all the empty all the NPCs are at our house, so that's always good. So for now, let's quickly just break some of this wood, and we need a crafting table. Actually, there's one, one in there, so we'll use this one in here for now. To build some new houses, what well, rooms even? So uh, we need two wooden chairs, three doors, a lot of wood walls. You also need some wooden, I need more wooden platforms as well. So, uh, oh, fishing pole. Now we get these, get, let's get wooden platforms, and let's continue to build the rooms. Let's so put the uh, door and door over here, and then door over this other side. 181 wood walls to kind of fill this bit in here. So we also need to fill the down there in as well, but we'll do that in a minute. So, guys, the episode was. Um, the winner of the vote. I will put link to the next vote in the description, as well as the vote. Also, can vote on my website as well, which is pretty cool. So, like I said, you guys voted for it. It's got like over 50 votes, I think. So, for this to this one by just a slim margin over the next uh, movie review, movie review episode, which should probably should be the next idea I should do, but I'm waiting to see what the poll results for the next episode come out as. So, we just fill all this in over here. And go through the doors here and just fill all this in. That should be good. And we should be ready to build the next layer. Because I'm not going to bore you with building all the layers. I'm going to build this layer. Then we're going to go sort of just explore now. Because I want to find the meteorite. Because we shouldn't have any trouble into running, running into any enemies. Because I think we're pretty good to take them out anyway. Apart from the Brain of Cthulhu, which we lost to yesterday. Love yesterday. We lost to last episode, which very humiliating loss to the uh, Brain of Cthulhu. So we need to build two more chairs, I've, no, not chairs, two more tables, I'm not really, <sighs> right, let's try again, let's build two more tables, one, two, there we go, I can put one here, and one 
Yeah, there we go. So we've got how many torches? Well, we need more torches in these rooms. Uh, on, on there. One there. One there. And one there. So I want to go exploring when it's uh, daytime so I don't get, like, killed or anything. Let's jump, jump off here. And let's go sort of exploring. We do move very, very slowly, so I will cut ahead to when we're sort of close to where we need to be. Okay, it turns out the meteorite is actually right here. So, uh, oh, okay, we can't stand on it because it kind of kills us. So, for now, we can't really mine any of this. So, I'm trying to mine the, like, the tiniest bits we have over here. If not, throw a few bombs down there and just try and get rid of them. Try and get rid of a lot of sort of the um, right, let's, let's and bombs. Go, yep, boom, boom, and then just down there. Let's try and get some of the uh, the ore. Right, let's just jump on there. Right, oh, oh, right, okay, that's that's not stand on it. That's not stand on it. Get off it. Okay, try and mine some here. Get rid of some of these meteorite heads because they're really annoying. I hate the meteorite heads because you're mining there and they're just like so they're trying to kill you. I guess they kind of like guard the meteorite. It's really bad for us because we can't mine it. We've got to like avoid these guys first of all. Oh, that's not headbutt it. That would be a good idea. That's not headbutt the uh, meteorite. How much have we got? We've got 80 pieces. That's very nice. We can make some cool stuff out of this. No, no uh, weapons help us. Just the uh, only mainly armor which we could do with because uh. We, do, we still do have quite some good ammo, but we could probably do an upgrade on the gold pants. Like, we've got a uh, gold greaves still. We could do an upgrade to that. Hopefully some sort of cool meteorite armor will be the, the uh, way to save that. To upgrade it, basically. Right, let's try and get some of this over here. There's a nice large chunk over here we can just mine. Like, the meteorite heads aren't really difficult to defeat. They're just, like, there and very annoying. You've got to pause your mining. Let's take them on. Also means that there's a meteorite, there should be a goblin army uh, not too far behind, which should be very fun. The goblin army is one of my favourite just sort of NPC battle, um, uh, boss battles. Not really a boss battle, though, is it? it's more of a it's like a, a tribe battle. I don't, what are they called? They're like multi battles, I guess. Well, oh, I don't know. I don't know what are they called. I don't know. Invasion. That's what they're called. They're called invasions. Face the uh, goblin invasion. So we're going to return home now. And see what we can make with this new um, ore. We've got 103 pieces, which is always good. So let's see what can we make. Well, obviously you can make the uh, meteorite bars. So let's make as many of those as possible. We can make 37. Nice. So we go to the anvil over here. Oops, anvil. We can we can make a space gun. That's awesome. A meteorite hammock. That's 100% axe power. 50%, 6, 80% hammer power, 45%. That's good to make. We've got to make the space gun, which I love the space gun. It's so good. The uh, 6 defense, 7 defense. 6 defense, 7 defense. And 4 defense against 5 defense. However, that is better because it can help you increase your uh, magic damage, which is one, all, all we want to get. So first of all, we're going to get the meteorite hammocks. Because beast is much better than the axe and the hammer. So now we've got that. We can make we're not making some of the new armor. So we can make the greaves first of all. So we're not gonna upgrade. Let's try and put some of our stuff away now. Let's get one of these uh, crystal chests and just put it in one of the random rooms. Put it over here with the dryad and just sort of just dump a lot of stuff, see what we need. Right, so we're gonna get rid of the shurikens. We don't need those. Meteorite, we're gonna keep the torches, get rid of the wood walls. We're gonna keep the umbrella, the umbrella's useful. Um Potions, mana, life manalyzer. That's about it, it's useful. Uh, let's get some wood. Uh, no rope on me. So, I think I should probably like, style these so they're always on my person. So, the wood goes there, the potions, and everything goes there. This episode's gone by pretty quickly because all we're doing is just checking out the. Uh, Meteorite, and we built a house. That's pretty cool. So what I want to do now is I'm going to return back to the meteorite and try and grab as much as possible. Then I'll turn to you and make the full set of meteorite armor. So guys, I collected the remaining of the meteorite bars and made myself a meteor suit. Now we need to make ourselves a meteorite helmet, and we have a complete armor set. So that gives us now 
uh, 7% increase magic damage and space gun costs 0 mana, although it won't be using space gun because we're not allowed to use it basically, we can't use it because we're not allowed to. So, Boston and that guy also discovered that the, uh, the, the arms dealer, he's called uh, Bronzon, lives there, so we want to try and move him across to that house over there, whereas the uh, Bronzon, the arms dealer, you now live there, and then we've got Tabnit, the die trader. I got him because on the way here, I was able to pick up a strange plant. So if I click off this and then go to strange plants, we got ourselves three Mirage die. We can put those on there. The Mirage die looks pretty cool, I think. So we did that as well, guys. It's telling night now, so we could go and fight the uh, Brain of Cthulhu again, but there's quite literally no point because we are pretty much doing that next episode. One thing I can do now is just sort of build another room up because we can get a uh the the bomb guy, yeah, I can't remember his name now. Demolitionist. We can get a demolitionist as well. That's the guy I really want to get because he's good for selling bombs and stuff like that, like grenades and bombs and dynamite, which is all really fun to use in this game, especially just the explosive mining is really fun. So I'll we'll do that. Yes, once once we get the final piece of the karate tortoise uniform which we're still looking for, hopefully we'll try and get the next episode we can then start to work on trying to get the dies, which is why I want to get the die trader soon, because he's very good at getting the dies. All he needs to do is do a lot of trading and a lot of die mixing. I have done much of the die mixing. I've only done a few here and there, because I don't use a lot of dies. I mainly use sort of just the shadow die and any of the black dies. I think they look pretty cool. But yeah, but we're trying to get some, some of the blue dies. So to get the blue die, I think we need to mix some sort of plant from the ocean together to make the blue one. I don't actually know how to make the blue die at all, so I'm just guessing. But we build those on there, and then try and build the next house across, which is going to be awesome. For now, it's sort of going to be like a, just a spiral staircase. Oh, well, spiral, just set of houses going upwards. Hopefully, we can try and improve that, and improve that later, but for now, it's just like buildings going upwards. I know it's really creative. But for now, that's all we're going to have to do, because we haven't got much wood, and yeah... The reason is this world's only really going to be used till the end of the series. As if I do, as if I do decide to do the uh, the final challenge, which is taking on the um, Moon Lord. If I don't do that, because I've been thinking about it, then I will probably never use this world again. This world's only really used for the series, and I'm not really going to want to build some sort of masterpiece house because I don't really think I'll play the series over 100 episodes. It might guess like 70 odd episodes because we do need to get all the items. A lot of the items do require to go into hard mode to get them. Which is very annoying. Because so far we haven't actually defeated the Wall of Flesh yet. I, I tried to beat the Wall of Flesh in the Tri KO Challenge. Unfortunately that didn't quite work out as we lost to him. As that's sort all of like our final boss battle we kind of lost to. We beat all the other bosses relatively easily. But we lost to the uh, Wall of Flesh. I believe that was simply due to just poor staging. Kind of how I lost to the uh, Brain of Cthulhu. Uh, sort of just like poor staging. Anyways, put the torches up here. Put another torch here. And put a chair in. Go wait till the morning to get a new guy anyway. So we'll skip that. And I will uh, show you the guy next episode. So. Really brilliant. So guys. In this episode we successfully got ourselves the meteorite armor. Giving ourselves now a magic boost. To our pretty incredible sapphire staff. Which is always always nice. Um, we got ourselves a brand new hammocks. The meteorite hammocks to be specific. And we, got, we replaced our old armor. So now I've got. A pretty decent 16 defense armor boost, which is very, very nice. I want to check what we had before. We had, uh, okay, that's 18. I guess it was 18. What do we have before? Uh, well, I got Greaves. Originally, we had, originally we had 17, so we've actually taken a decrease in armor, but we do get extra magic damage, which I would always prefer over any sort of armor defense. So, next episode, guys, I will try and get ourselves the final of the Karate Tortoise pieces, marking them off. And then try and build a platform in between episodes to get a nice battle arena go for the, going to defeat the Brain of Cthulhu. And then we'll try and prepare to take, take on Skeletron and then the Wall of Flesh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to vote in the description below for which video you want to see next. And as always guys, have a good day. I'll see you later. Goodbye.